Hi, I'm Matt Copen from Kramer Electronics Technical Support. Welcome to Kramer's K-Tech video series. Today, we're going to be answering another real-world question that people often ask when they call Kramer Technical Support for help. How can crosstalk negatively affect a digital video signal when it's run through unshielded twisted pair cabling? Crosstalk is one of the most detrimental factors when sending HDMI over twisted pair cables because information affected by crosstalk can't be recovered. In many ProAV installations, twisted pair cable is run in bundles or through conduit, drastically increasing the chance for crosstalk. I want to show you what can happen when you have two unshielded twisted pair cables run in close proximity. This is when crosstalk becomes a factor and can ruin a good installation. Here, we're using a traditional unshielded CAT5 cable between our HDMI, HDBase-T, twisted pair transmitter and receiver. As you can see, I have a video signal on the displays behind me. Now, I'm going to simply hold two pieces of the cable from this spool closer together, like cable might be run in a piece of conduit. Let's see what happens. The video signal collapses and my picture disappears. Just by holding the two ends of the cable close together, crosstalk has killed my video signal. By holding this pair together, I'm inducing enough crosstalk to collapse the signal. Imagine what happens when you have 10 or even more twisted pair cables run next to one another from a rack up through a single piece of conduit. When I separate them, which reduces the crosstalk, my video signal returns. Now bear with me while I swap out this unshielded twisted pair cable for a shielded one. Here's a piece of shielded twisted pair cable that is zip tied and bound pretty tightly. But because the cable has an overall shield, it eliminates crosstalk and allows the video signal to pass. This clearly demonstrates why cable quality makes such a difference in ProAV applications. Even by performing the same demonstration by holding the two ends of the cable together, the video signal stays stable. With unshielded twisted pair cable, you run the risk of creating problems by introducing interference and crosstalk into your video signal, particularly in the ProAV world. And that's your answer. So make sure you always use the best quality shielded twisted pair cable, like Kramer's Digicat cable for example. Hopefully now you'll have the background to effectively troubleshoot crosstalk problems. And of course, you can always give us a call at Kramer Technical Support and we'll help you figure it out. Get more answers by becoming a Kramer Certified Digitalist. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Matt Copen.